वेलकम टू रॉ ऑनलाइन टुडे सेशन इज अबाउट इंटरनल जुगलर वेन एंड ब्रेकोसेफेलिक वेन द इंटरनल जुगलर वेन्स आर द चीफ वेन्स ऑफ द हेड एंड नेक दे कलेक्ट द ब्लड फ्रॉम द ब्रेन द सुपरफिशियल पार्ट ऑफ द फेस एंड द नेक सो दिस इज द इंटरनल जुगलर वेन what is the origin of the internal jugular vein it begins as a continuation of the sigmoid sinus at the base of the skull in the posterior compartment of the jugular foramen look at this picture so this is the jugular foramen so this is the jugular foramen and this is the sigmoid sinus so this is the internal jugular vein it begins as a continuation of the sigmoid sinus at the base of the skull in the posterior compartment of the jugular foramen what is the course and the termination of the internal jugular vein the vein passes downwards so we have the this is a right internal jugular vein and this is the left internal jugular vein so the vein passes downward through the neck within the carotid sheath and behind the medial end of the clavicle it unites with the subclavian vein to form a brachiocephalic vein look at this picture this is the right internal jugular vein and this is the right subclavian vein so behind the medial end of the clavicle right internal jugular vein unites with the right subclavian vein to form the right brachiocephalic vein so this is the right brachiocephalic vein and this is the right subclavian vein and this is the right internal jugular vein so the right internal jugular vein combines or it unites with the right subclavian vein to form the right brachiocephalic vein in the same way in the left side also the left internal jugular vein this is the left internal jugular vein and this is the left subclavian vein and they unite to form the left brachiocephalic vein what are the special features of the internal jugular vein If you see the internal jugular vein you can see the two dilatations the one is the superior bulb and another is the inferior bulb this is the inferior bulb the superior bulb where you look for the superior bulb first at its commencement which lies in the jugular fossa so that dilatation is known as the superior bulb and this dilatation is related to the floor of the middle ear so this is a important point so the superior bulb is related to the floor of the middle ear now we will come to the inferior bulb where you look for the inferior bulb close to the termination lies the inferior bulb and this is guarded by the valves you can look at the this is the valve okay so how many dilatations we have we have two dilatations in the internal jugular vein this is one of the special feature of the internal jugular vein next the internal jugular vein if you see is vertically applied to the lateral side of the internal and the common carotid arteries so look here this is the internal this is the carotid artery and this is the internal jugular vein and it is the both arteries and the and also in between you have the vagus nerve which is enclosed by a deep fascia which is known as the carotid sheath so the internal jugular veins is uh, vertically applied to the lateral side of the internal and the common carotid artery and it is the artery the vein and the vagus nerve is enclosed by a deep fascia which is known as the carotid fascia this is another important feature or the special feature of the internal jugular vein next this is the lymphatic picture of or the deep cervical lymph nodes of the neck you can see that the deep cervical lymph nodes lie along its entire course of the internal jugular vein so this will act as a guide for the surgeons to remove the nodes now we'll see about the relations of the internal jugular vein what are the structures that are related to the internal jugular veins this can be divided into the superficial relations the posterior relation the medial relation what is the superficial relation so this is the internal jugular vein and this is the carotid artery okay below you have the common this is a common carotid artery and we have the internal and the external carotid artery and this is the internal carotid artery this is the internal carotid artery and this is the external carotid artery okay now we will see that the internal jugular vein 
the internal jugular vein is crossed by the two muscles what are the muscles we have the posterior this is the posterior belly of the digastric muscle okay and then below it is crossed by the belly of the homohyoid in the lower part okay and we, these are the two muscles which crosses the internal jugular vein so this is the homohyoid and next it is crossed by two arteries what are the arteries the arteries uh, they are the occipital artery and the posterior auricular artery so this is the posterior auricular artery and this is the occipital artery again these are the branches of the external carotid artery so this is the eca that is the external carotid artery okay so there are two arteries which crosses the internal jugular vein one is the occipital artery other is the posterior auricular artery and it is crossed by one vein that is the anterior anterior jugular vein and it is crossed by two nerves what are the nerves we have the spinal accessory nerves and the inferior root of the ansa cervicalis that is the descendant cervicalis so this are this is the another nerve which is cro which crossed by the internal jugular vein and the other nerve is what we have the spinal accessory nerve spinal accessory nerve these are the superficial relations of the internal jugular vein so once again i repeat it is crossed by two muscles one is the posterior belly of the digastric muscle in the upper part and the inferior belly of the homoid in the lower part and it is crossed by two arteries one is the posterior auricular artery and another is occipital artery which are the branches of the external carotid artery and then it is crossed by one vein that is the anterior jugular vein this is the anterior this is the anterior jugular vein and again it is crossed by two nerves one the above is the spinal accessory nerve and below we have the inferior root of the ansa cervicalis so these are the superficial relations of the internal jugular vein